right, so today in kids yoga, we're going to go ahead and start by talking about a book we're going to read as we do yoga along with the story. The book today is something for the holidays. The book is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And there's Rudolph with the red nose. So it's the holiday time and we're going to feel all warm and fuzzy inside. It's kind of cold outside. So let's go ahead and start with our cold breath. So let's go ahead and get a yoga friend at home. It could be any stuffed animal, um, and I'm gonna get mine. Okay, so hopefully you have your yoga friend out. And then we can see your yoga friend. Bring your yoga friend close to the screen. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Good. So we do yoga along with our yoga friend at home as we read a story. So any stuffed animal you have is good. And we're gonna start with our cold breath. So go ahead and put your yoga friend down and take your arms out, inhale and exhale. Give yourself a hug. And then we're gonna go, it's cold. Okay, ready? Inhale. Yoga friends. 
So our story is about somewhere that's cold, the North Pole. And there's Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. And just like as we were doing, pointing to our nose, there's Rudolph that has a red nose. So here is a snowman, and he is going to tell the story. There's a place called Christmas Town, known as the North Pole. It is a wonderful place where Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus live. All the elves live there too. The reindeer fly. The elves make toys. Here is Santa in the North Pole. Here are some reindeer. Some reindeer had a little baby. They named him Rudolph because he has a red nose. So let's go ahead and pretend that we are Rudolph. Go ahead and point to your nose. Good. And our nose is going to glow red because it can also see. So let's go ahead and come down on our hands and knees, pretend that we are a little deer, have your yoga friend next to you, okay? Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Good. Go ahead and kick your deer leg. because we have a silly red nose. So we're gonna not only just kick our legs back, we're gonna kick our legs to the side and reach our arms to the side too. So we are on all fours, we're kicking back. Now we're gonna go ahead and kick side. Kick side, yeah! And then add opposite arm side, whoa. <laughs> Be careful. When I say Rudolph, you're gonna go ahead and pick up your yoga friend and bring your yoga friend's nose close to the screen. Because that's Rudolph with the nose. Are you ready? Let's go ahead and come back down and let's do our Rudolph pose so on our hands and knees. And when I say Rudolph, pick up your yoga friend and bring that nose close to the screen. Ready? Okay. Stretching. Those are cute Rudolphs. Good. And then we move not just forward and back, but we move side to side. Be careful. <laughs> Go forward and back again. Good. Side to side. Forward and back. Rudolph. Let's do that one more time. You ready? Here we go. Now here, let's go ahead and move around. Now see what Rudolph to stay warm because it's cold up there. You ready? So be a little deer and move around stretching your arms and legs. Here we go. We are moving around so we stay warm at the North Pole. Stretching the arms and legs side to side. Those are cute tears. Good. Rudolph. Rudolph. I see you. Good. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and go back to our story. Now that we are warm, Rudolph is warm. Okay. So, Santa says, 
When we give toys out to the kids, we don't want the kids to see us. So when Rudolph flies, I think we should put a cover on his nose. Oh no, a cover on his nose. So go ahead, let's put a cover on our nose because we're pretending we're Rudolph. Take your arms out, take little covers for your nose. Inhale and exhale, cover your nose. <laughs> Good. Inhale. So here's our, our glow of our nose. And then Santa said, put a cover on your nose. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, glow your Rudolph nose. Santa said, put a cover on your nose. Exhale. That is cute. So Santa said, we're gonna put a cover on Rudolph's nose because we don't want the kids to see us as we fly. Okay, because Santa flies the reindeer at night so you don't see. So soon it was time for the reindeer to go out and play. And Rudolph met a friend named Claire. Hi, I'm Claire. Hi, I'm Rudolph. Let's be friends. And Santa showed all the deer how to fly. So they practiced. And here is Rudolph practicing flying. Rudolph showed all of his friends that his nose could glow. Wow! Wow! At first, all the deer were scared. But Santa said, it's okay. Don't laugh at him. He's unique and special. Let's call him Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And they cheered. But one of the deer said, Rudolph, go home. From now on, you can't play any reindeer games with us. All of them laughed. But Clarice, Rudolph's friend, did not laugh. Rudolph felt so bad, the other rangers did not want to play reindeer games with him. So he wandered off alone. Soon he met an elf hiding in the woods. Hi, my name is Henry. I want to be a dentist. But right now, I'm just an elf and I don't belong. Rudolph said, I don't belong either. So they became friends. So, have you ever wanted to become something that you weren't? Have, have your friends ever made fun of you because you're different? You know what? We're gonna go ahead and give yourself a hug. So take your arms out, grab your friend. Inhale, open your arms. And exhale, hug. Because you deserve love, even if you're different. Good. So we're reading a story about a little elf that wanted to become a dentist. So let's go ahead and be a little elf. We're going to go ahead and get really small. Let's go ahead and come down. Turn your feet out like a penguin. Can you turn your feet out like a penguin? Good. <laughs> And we're going to go ahead and come down, take our feet out, bend our knees and get really small. Good. Now show me your elf ears, pointy elf ears. Good. And we're going to walk around with our feet turned out like a penguin and our elf ears. Good. So we are an elf. Nice. Let's go ahead and come up. Show me a big smile. 
because that little elf wanted to become a dentist, right? Let's do that one more time. Ready? Let's be a cute little elf. Turn your feet out like a penguin. And him down low. Elf ears. Let's be a little elf. Walk around. Ready? Let's go ahead. Inhale, come up. we show a big smile, let's go ahead and come down and be Rudolph. Get your yoga friend. Are you ready? Here we go. Here is Rudolph. Can you show me your arms and legs, Rudolph? Good. Can we go ahead and start to stretch side to side, Rudolph? That is really cute. Now let's walk around. Are you ready, Rudolph? Here we go, and show me your nose. Where's your nose, Rudolph? There's your nose. Good. Let's put that together. So we're gonna do all these yoga movements in one big, kind of like a slow dance. Oh, you're still showing me your nose. That is cute. Let's start out with our elf. Here we go. Come down, feet turned out like a penguin. Come down. And here is your little elf. <laughs> Good. I like your little elf ears. And then we're going to come up. Inhale. It's cold. Exhale. Boom. Come down. Get warm. We're going to get warm. Good. And then that elf wanted to be a dentist. Show me your smile. Good, good smile. And then let's do Rudolph, here we go. Here comes Rudolph. I'm coming with my nose, good. Stretch. And show me Rudolph's nose. Where's Rudolph's nose? Hello, good. Okay, that is fun. So, the pair decide to become friends. They hadn't wandered far when they heard a terrible roar of the abdominal snow monster. It's my nose, said Rudolph. The monster must see my nose and is coming after us. Oh no. So here is the abdominal snowman they heard. Rudolph and Henry the elf were saved by the Yukon Cornelius. So there is Cornelius and he saved them. But no matter how fast they went, the monster stayed close behind. Cornelius chopped the ice with his axe, and the friends floated away to safety. They floated all night long on a little iceberg. They landed on a strange island. And the island was a whole bunch of misfit toys that did not belong. There's a jack-in-the-box. And look on the sled. There's some puppies. So let's go ahead and pretend that we are Cornelius with our X. And we're going to chop down the ice. So go ahead and get really big arms and legs out. Good. So we have our friends. We're going to save Henry the Elf, who 
wants to be a dentist, and we're gonna save all the other toys and Rudolph. Ready? Let's go ahead and chop down some ice here. Take a step. Good. Chop down some ice here. Take a big step. Chop down some ice. One more time, really big. <laughs> and chop some ice down. Good. So we made it. Now we're on the special island they found of a whole bunch of toys and they call themselves misfits. Here's all the toys they found on this island. They found a, uh, what is that? A bird, a choo-choo train, an airplane, a boat. They found a doll. They found a Jack in the Box. So all these toys didn't belong and they decided that they should be away. And you know what? We're all misfits too, they said. So maybe we could be here with you too. But the king of the island came out. And the king of the island would only let them stay for one night. The island is for toys. No living creatures can live here, but you can help us. When you return to Christmas Town, tell Santa about the homeless toys here. I'm sure he can find girls and boys who would be happy with them. A toy is never happy till it's loved by a child. So, at night, Rudolph snuck out. And my nose will only bring my friends more danger. I must go off on my own. But as he wandered alone in the snow, Rudolph realized that he couldn't run away from his troubles. Wherever he goes, his nose will be there. When Rudolph returned to the mainland of Christmas Town, he had to pass the cave of the abdominal snowman. As he did, he saw his mom and dad, and he heard voices of help, help, and Rudolph rushed inside. Oh no, the abdominal snowman had Rudolph's friend Clarice. Ah, oh no, oh no, ah, oh no, oh no, oh no. So just then, remember Henry? He pretended to be a little pig. He said, oink, 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 to lure out the abdominal snowman. And when the snowman came out looking for the little pig, up above was Cornelius. And he put a big snowball and closed the cave. They worked together. Back in Christmas town, when Rudolph came back to see Santa, he told Santa what had happened. And Santa handed Rudolph an award. But then there was the weather report that came out that there's a storm tonight. I won't be able to see my sleigh fly. And then all of a sudden, Santa said, Rudolph, you can guide my sleigh tonight. What a beautiful nose. You don't have to wear the cover on your nose anymore. And Rudolph led the way with the notes that shine so bright. So, do you remember what happened in the story? It ended up being a good story. Let's go ahead and start out 
with the toys we saw. We saw one of my favorite toys is the Jack in the Box. Let's go ahead be a Jack in the Box, and then after we are a Jack in the Box, let's go ahead and start and finish the rest of the story, and be a lion. Are you ready? So a Jack in the Box. We're gonna go on the floor. Cross our arms and cross our legs and try to be a box. And then we jump up. You ready? Here we go. Go ahead and come down. Cross your legs. Cross your arms. Get really small. Good. Ready? Here we go. Jack in the box. <laughs> Good. Let's do that again. Ready? Cross your arms, cross your legs, get really small, and jump up, jack in the box. Good. One more time, you're really good at that. Here we go. Cross your arms, cross your legs, jack in the box. Good. What other toys were stuck on the island? And Santa went back and got those toys. So we found that there was a turkey and there was a polka dotted, I think it's an elephant. And there was a choo-choo train. Let's go ahead and do that. So being a turkey, let's go ahead and come over here. Kick your little turkey kill feathers, bend your knees. Good. Let's walk around. Good. And then after a turkey, we saw an elephant. Take your legs wide, reach your elephant snout, your elephant nose, your elephant trunk. Good. And then we also saw a choo choo train. snowman. Oh no! And then after that, Henry pretended to be a pig. And he put a big snowball over the cave. So we're gonna go ahead and start and be a little pig. So go ahead and come down on the floor and now we're a little pig. Oh, you have to 
big snow, big, big snow, scary abdominal snowman. Good. And then there was a big ball that came up and crushed him. Go all the way down and fall on the ground. Ah. Okay, let's do that all together. Let's start by being a little pig. Okay, little piggy. And then we're gonna be a snowman and then get crushed. Are you ready? Let's go ahead and come down, little piggies. Good. And here comes the abdominal snowman. And bend a leg, bend a leg. Are you stepping really big? Good. Here comes a big ball, snowball. We're gonna get crushed. Oh no, come down on the ground. <laughs> Good. Let's do that one more time. Are you ready? Okay, pretending that we are a little piggy and then Domino Snowman and get crushed. Here we go. Come on, little piggies, come down. And then here comes the abdominal snowman. Big stepping lunges. Good. And then, oh no. And put a big snowball over the cave. And it's gonna come down and we get crushed. Oh no. <laughs> Good. So, think about what was your favorite toy in the story? I liked all of them. But the most important thing is that Rudolph told the story about what happened, about how all of the friends worked together to save everybody. So Santa went back and got all the toys from the Misfit Island and Rudolph ended up being a hero. So we're gonna go ahead and fly like Rudolph. Are you ready? Show me your nose. Good. Take your friend, show me your friend's nose. Good. Let's go ahead and be flying like Rudolph. So go ahead and take your arms and legs out and fly. Good. Now, remember Rudolph has arms and legs. So we're gonna go ahead and move our arms and legs in all directions, because we are trying to fly. Good. Can you switch legs? And then move your arms and legs in all directions. Good. And when I say Rudolph, Rudolph, show me your nose. Good. Let's do that one more time. Be Rudolph and we are gonna leave the sleigh for Santa. Here we go. We're leading the way, moving our arms and legs <laughs> and try the other way around. Be careful. And Rudolph, show me your nose. Good. Let's go ahead and move on. And I'm gonna get my next yoga friend. And this is my I love, I love nature friend. So I love nature is my bear that's always in tree pose. Yeah, you got it. So if you love nature too, then go ahead and stand in tree pose. Good. And we're gonna go ahead and you can take your friend with you if you like. Come up in tree pose. Good. Now when I say abdominal snowman, we're gonna go ahead and go into our abdominal snowman lunging, okay? But only when I say so, okay? So try not to fall. Are you ready? Here go in tree pose. So we are trees in the snow on North Pole. Good. Abdominal snowman. Oh, here we go. Here he comes. Good. Now let's go ahead 
it and fly like Rudolph. Here we go. Fly. Move your arms and legs. And when I say Rudolph, bring the nose close to the screen. Rudolph! Good! Let's do that again. That was fun. Let's go in tree pose like my I Love Nature Bear. Stand in tree pose. Here we go. Okay, we are trees in the North Pole. Good! Are you ready? Abdominal snowman! There's the abdominal snowman! <laughs> you are good at that! Big steps! Good! Then there's Rudolph and he goes flying! Can we fly? Move your arms and legs, Rudolph! Good! Now, Rudolph, show me your nose! Show me your nose! I see that nose. That is cute. That was fun. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. And then, my next yoga friend is my alignment bear. So, alignment bear always sits with his legs, legs and arms out in a straight line. Let's go ahead and do that, okay? And we're gonna go along with our story and play some fun games too. Get your yoga friend with you. Okay, arms and legs out. Uh, are your legs straight? Are your arms straight? Good. Go ahead and circle your wrists, circle your ankles, circle the other way. Good, stretch to one side. Stretch to the other side. Good. Okay. We are going to play a game where we are going to be little elves. Do you remember our elf pose? Do you remember what was our elf pose? Our feet were turned out like a penguin and we had elf ears. So let's go ahead and take our legs and arms out like alignment stretch. Good. Bring your legs in. Come up. Show me your ears, you little elf. Good. Okay, we're gonna play a game. We're gonna be a little elf. And when I say alignment, you go ahead and sit down and take your arms and legs out as straight as you can. Ready? Here we go. Okay, show me a little elf. Let's walk around, little elves. Show me your elf feet. Good. Alignment. Alignment. Good. Let's stretch. And stretch. Okay, here we go. Bring your legs in. Come on, little elves. Here we go. Good. That's a good elf. Those are cute elf feet. Alignment! Alignment! <laughs> Good! And stretch. Ah! Good! Okay. Let's get out my next friend. So my next friend is the Breathe Bear. And you use your friend too. Let's think about what other friends we have from our story. So, what other friends? Can you think of any friends from the story? Hmm? Let's see what other friends there were. Oh, there was Jack in the Box. That was fun. So, we're gonna go ahead and do Jack in the Box. And we also have a lion in the story. So let's go ahead and start out with a jack-in-the-box. Take your arms and legs and cross them. Good. Are you ready, jack-in-the-box? And jack-in-the-box. <laughs> good. That was really good. You guys are really good at that. Okay. So we also said 
that along with Jack in the Box, there was a lion. So do you remember our lion pose we did today? Yeah, you got it, good. So we're gonna go ahead, come back and go. Good, and come down. So let's go ahead and play a game. We're gonna go ahead and do Jack in the Box. And when I say lion, you come down and do a lion pose. But only when I say so. Until then, you keep doing your Jack in the Box. Here we go, ready? And Jack in the Box. Come down. And go ahead and jump up. Good. And you keep doing your Jack in the Box. Do a couple more. Good. glowing nose breath. So let's go ahead, take your nose covers, inhale, and exhale, cover your nose. <laughs> inhale, glow your Rudolph nose, exhale, cover your nose. One more, inhale, glow, good. Exhale, cover your nose. Good, and then Santa said, we don't have to cover your nose anymore because you can lead the way for the sleigh tonight. Yay, so let's go ahead. And we're gonna go ahead and go on our sleigh. So on your sleigh, we're gonna go ahead and sit down and take our friend and pretend that this is our friend, Rudolph. And take the nose of your friend and lead the way. Let's go ahead and sit down on our sleigh. Take your legs forward, and we're on our sleigh. Good. Here's Rudolph's nose. Good. We're gonna go ahead and shine the way to the side, and shine the way to the other side, and shine the light forward, shine the light backward, Shine the light to the side. Shine the light to the side. Let's go really far forward with that bright nose. And then let's fly backwards. Ah, good. Let's go ahead and come one more time. Good. Now we're gonna go ahead and come up and take our slick. Forward. So we're going to bend forward, show me the Rudolph nose. Good. Lead forward. Good. And then we're going to shine the light back with Rudolph's nose going backwards. Rudolph's nose going down. Good. Shine the light to the side. Can you see? I can see now because Rudolph is showing you his nose. And let's see what's behind us. And see what's beneath us. Good. We made it. So 
So all of the kids have their toys now. Thanks to Rudolph and thanks to you. Let's go ahead and end with our teddy bear nose breath or our Rudolph nose breath. Ready? Inhale, bring that nose close to the screen. And exhale, point to the mouth and go really far back. Good. Point to the nose. Inhale, go really close. I see you. Point to the mouth and exhale really far back. Good. Let's go ahead. And we're gonna go ahead and show me the nose one more time. And we're gonna do Rudolph nose kisses. Ready? Inhale. And exhale, Rudolph nose kisses. Inhale. Exhale, Rudolph nose kiss. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Ah. So it's important to know that even if you feel like you don't belong, even if your friends make fun of you, that you are important and that you are not alone. A lot of people feel that way. Just like the other toys that were misfits on the island. And when you find a good friend, you can work together, come back to the rest of your friends and they will think you're great. That's exactly what happened. Remember when Santa gave Rudolph an award and then Santa went back and got all the rest of the toys and said, you are important too. So this holiday, I hope you get everything you want. The most important thing is that you get love. Let's go and take our yoga friend out. Inhale and exhale. Give yourself some love. One more time, inhale, exhale, love. Does your nose glow? Mine doesn't, but your heart can glow. Go and take your hands in a heart. Go ahead and inhale and exhale. Share some love and glow from your heart. Inhale to your heart. Exhale, share some love and glow from your heart. Thank you. Take your hands in prayer. Let's do our peace breath. I see you. Inhale, rise the hands up. Peace hands. And exhale, peace hands to your heart. One more. That feels good. Inhale, peace hands. Exhale, peace hands to your heart. That was fun. Thank you. And we always say namaste at the end. Namaste. Good. And you know what namaste means, right? Namaste means the spirit in me honors the spirit in you. Yeah. Thank you.